Imagine this, James Bond, after saving the world 10 years further on, he grows up to have a family, a couple of kids, but he still has the panache and style necessary to show off on the streets. Well, this would be the most befitting car for him. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Bhavneet Vaswani. Welcome to the Driver's Hub and this is the DBX from Aston Martin. The Aston Martin DBX is a very important vehicle for Aston Martin. Like how the Cayenne helped Porsche out of a massive financial rut in the early 2000s, the DBX is supposed to help Aston Martin back to its former glory and cement itself as a key player in the uber luxurious car market. Aston Martin goes against some very formidable opponents in that space and that too without a massive automotive conglomerate injecting money to keep them alive. Bentley is owned by VW. Maserati is part of the Stellantis group and Lexus is owned by Toyota. But since the time of the DBX launch, Aston Martin has cut almost all of its losses all over the years and almost quadrupled their sales just with this vehicle. Recently, Canadian billionaire Lawrence Stroll acquired Aston Martin and side by side rebranded his Racing Point F1 team to Aston Martin F1. So with these two things under Aston Martin's belt, it seems that Aston Martin has a very bright future ahead. But now let's talk about the vehicle that quadrupled their sales and why is it so special. What's under the hood is a 4-litre twin-turbo V8 that is sourced from AMG. However, it is hand-built in Wales because it is inspected in Wales finally. This has around 542 bhp and 700 newton meters of torque. In my opinion, enough go juice for what it is. This is the same engine that Aston Martin uses in their Vantage sports car, but in a different state of tune. And if you think about it, it is more or less the same 4 liter bi turbo V8 you find in any AMG car over the last 3 4 years. Everything from the C63 to the AMG GTR Pro. All of them are pretty much the same engine in different states of tune. When it comes to designing a coupe-esque SUV, you can imagine it is a hard task. But I really need to give it to Aston Martin for making such a stellar job in the design. From far, the car looks super compact because the designers have made it uh, a point to make the car look really compact in proportions. But when I get closer to the car, you can understand the 5 meters of length and 2 meters of width of the car that is quite rivaling towards the other super SUVs in the market. In the rear, they have mimicked the Vantage brake lights to show and inculcate some of the design cues of the Aston Martin lineup, as well as the dual pipes from behind that looks quite similar to the DB11, but uh, it all has its own view and it all just conglomerates to something much more different and something completely unique. In terms of driving, we weren't able to get our greasy palms on this beautiful car this time. But here are some of our first impressions via some friends in the business who have. The DBX, like mentioned, comes equipped with a 4-litre twin-turbo V8 sourced from AMG and a Mercedes sourced 9-speed auto. Even though this seems like Aston Martin might be losing some of its originality, this gives for a car that works flawlessly, at least in the drivetrain and powertrain department. What the DBX has that no other Aston currently on sale has is an all-wheel drive system which helps the DBX shoot from a standstill to 100 km per hour in under 4.5 seconds. Now many people compare the DBX with the Urus but the DBX is more of a Bentayga competitor rather than an Urus fighter. It is more inclined towards the luxury aspect rather than the fire-breathing performance monster that the Urus has become well known for. The DBX compared to all of its competition feels nimble and light because compared to the Bentayga it weighs almost 200 kilos less and only weighs 45 kilos more than a Nurus. But the chassis development and the calibration that Aston have done has really paid and it actually feels like a Vantage but on stilts. 
The sound might not be what Aston has been known for with the iconic British bark that the older NAV8 used to make, but Aston has put in a lot of effort to make sure that the sound of the exhaust is unique and distinguishable once parked beside an AMG. In terms of the interior, the Aston Martin gets some last generation Mercedes tech inside, which is frankly a little bit of a letdown, but the stuff around the tech truly makes up for it. There is a generous amount, hell, enough leather to start your own dairy inside this car, but the attention to detail is truly sensational. Each and every stitch, surface and cloth has that level of finesse that you don't find in any other car. The design of the interior is truly mesmerizing, but there are a few more annoying bits like the gear selector buttons which are, well, buttons instead of an intuitive lever of some sort. The DBX commands a price of 3.82 crores X showroom for all of this British elegance and well frankly if you want a car that stands out then the DBX is for you. The DBX is a car that demands a certain attitude even from the person owning it. Currently in India every other person with money is picking up a Nouris but when you order yourself a DBX, people know you have a certain style and taste which is truly unique.